The Advanced Plasma Accelerator, sometimes called the APA, is a power play variant of the Plasma Accelerator and can be acquired from Denton Petraeus. This weapon is only manufactured as a size 3 fixed hardpoint and offers a slight increase in base damage per second compared to the standard Plasma Accelerator, but spreads this damage out across three hits. In practical terms, this means that the Advanced Plasma Accelerator requires more time on target than its standard counterpart, a factor that lowers its effectiveness in PvP and against any small ship. The Advanced Accelerator does nothing to increase shot speed, damage falloff, or reload time, though it does get a vastly expanded magazine and reserve ammunition pool to help compensate for its increased ammunition demand though the APA's endurance remains low compared to the other weapons in the ecosystem. The Advanced Accelerator is compatible with all related engineering blueprints, but is most effectively paired with the Long Range Blueprint. Unlike its standard variant, the Advanced Accelerator's time on target ties its effectiveness to the number of successful hits and not the damage per hit. So, I recommend making the weapon easier to use by addressing its low shot speed and short damage falloff. The end result is a weapon that is usable in both PvP and PvE situations, though even with these upgrades, the Advanced Plasma Accelerator is considered much less effective at PvP than the standard variant with damage-focused upgrades, and is not typically used in any PvP build that I am familiar with. In PvE, the Advanced Accelerator is more useful, though only against medium and large ships, where accurate fire is more achievable at greater distances. Against most small ships, the maneuverability and small cross-section of these ships result in many missed shots and a generally frustrating experience. Even with the absolute damage potential of this weapon, the kind of precision and lead times required are impractical except at very close range, where only one or two shots can connect, a situation where the standard plasma accelerator is far superior. As power play weapons go, I consider the advanced plasma accelerator to be fun to use, though not as important as other modules on offer. It lands at the bottom half of my list in its current form, below even the Saito Scrambler for its usefulness, though it can be an interesting experience for those who enjoy using plasma weapons. Avoid rapid fire and focused blueprints when laying out a build, as these mods tend to amplify traits which provide no advantage compared to other options available. The focused blueprint increases the Advanced Plasma Accelerator's piercing value, which is already greater than the armor hardness of all human ships in the game. While the Rapid Fire blueprint puts enormous strain on the available ammunition reserves. Pairing Rapid Fire with Plasma Slug only transfers this strain to the fuel reserve, and can quickly erode a ship's fuel supply when trying to feed multiple APAs. The Advanced Accelerator can only be installed on a limited number of ships. It draws a ton of power and generates a lot of heat, making the Advanced Accelerator difficult to work with in a lot of situations. As a result, it's best acquired by players who have already unlocked engineering for power, distributor, and accelerator modules, since most builds will need a lot of adjustment in order to apply these weapons at their best. Because the Advanced Accelerator needs time on target to apply its damage, it favors ships with high rotational maneuverability and superior speed. The Chieftain and Crate are top choices, while the Federal Corvette and Ferdy Lance are among the worst due to hardpoint size restrictions. Heat sinks come highly recommended in order to sustain damage over long attack runs, as heat buildup will be a constant concern under sustained fire. Likewise, the power and distributor load are significant and are not likely to mix with high draw shielding, 
Avoid using biweaves on any build deploying advanced accelerators. High capacity shields, emphasizing a low system capacitor draw or a hull focus defense, tend to pair best with these weapons. That's all I have for today. Catch you all later.